Since there is a video available on how to make the Enter 3v3 KE silent and I saw that everyone is asking if you can do the same with Enter 3v3 SE, I decided to record this process for the SE version. So basically it will mean that you will have to replace all the fans because this is the main reason why the SE version and also the KE version are kind of loud because the stock fans are crap. So for this process, as the other video is mentioning, I, I won't film everything because you can find the step by step details in the other one, but you will need three. Noctua fans, two for the backplate of the printer and one for the extruder. So for this conversion I choose to use two Noctua fans 90 millimeters and the one for the extruder is 40 millimeters. Also, I replaced the, the other one near the extruder, which is also loud, and I choose to use two 5010, which should be more quieter. After the conversion, You'll see that the majority of the noise will co come from the motors, but this is something we can't really handle. Also, you have to think when you compare the printers to other ones, because this, in my opinion, this is a low budget printer since it's under 200 bucks. Nowadays you can easily find it even under 100 used, but still in good shape. <coughs> so I downloaded the templates and made the holes for the new fans. You have to be really careful as you, you can see here that the metal is very sharp so it's very easy to, to cut yourself. So we just need a GT connector 1.25 from the power source and we will use two buck boost converters to convert from 24 volts to 12 volts because the supplier supplies 24 volts and the Noctua fans are using 12 volts. So I know it's kind of mess. And also you have to print some new feet for the printer to raise it a little bit in order to for the Noctua fans to have some clearance. Now we will upgrade the fans near the extruder. I might be a bit wrong with the naming because this is my first functional 3D printer. So sorry if I will get something wrong or different naming for a piece. I will list in the description all the three printed parts that I used. Everything is printed in PETG. Should be enough. These are the 5010 fans that I will go with in the end. Firstly, I, I tried to, to mount the original fan in other way with, with a different support, 3D printed one. But it seems that one is very loud also, so 
it made no point to keep it. And also this part right here in order to, to mount the same fan. It's, I, I don't think the design is faulty, but the, let's say if it, where you have to, to screw those four screws are very fragile. So I ended up having only two of them at the end instead of four because two broke at, at the first time when I, I tried to, to screw them. In order to use these two fans instead of the the first the original one, you have to solder them together and use the same adapter or connector for both of them. This is the Ford 10 Noctua fan which from which I had to remove the rubber feet in order to fit it in the new case. Unfortunately, for the printer being so big, Comparing to my other projects, I couldn't find a table big enough and also to be able to film the process. So, excuse me for the environment. And so here I'm trying to mount the original Creality fan and I did a few tests, but it's, it's still very loud, so in the end I, I decided I should I shouldn't keep it if I wanted to be silent. As you can see it's still extremely loud. So now I decided to replace it with the new 5010 new ones. So I just soldered them together because they are both 24 volts. And also this small not fan and it's also 24 volts so you can just use them as they are.
Now I realized I just cut the cables too short. But it should be an easy fix. Okay, and let's see how the new improved version sounds. This is a miniature that took over 8 hours, at the beginning it's at 10 hours but it was really 8 so this printer has a 20% error when providing the remaining time and I guess I should modify my settings because being just a 7 centimeters miniature shouldn't take so long. So this is the final result. I'm kinda happy with it. The sword and the shield just broke. But the rest is it's pretty okay. But as I said I have to change my settings. So this is the final version. I hope you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one, cheers!